if things seem difficult at school, um, university is a whole different experience altogether. There's really good resources in place and support at university that perhaps you might not have got at school or, or, or certainly not in sixth form. When I initially applied to UCAS, I didn't know I was autistic, but as soon as I knew I popped it on my UCAS application and the team got straight into contact with me, I didn't have to worry about getting in contact with them. I struggled in my first year, but once I realised a dis uh, disability student allowance was available to me with equipment, that provided me with real opportunities to, to succeed. My disabled student allowance was approved before I even came to uni. I met both my mentors in Freshers' Week, so I was able to sort everything out before I had my first day. My teachers are always there to answer questions and I get a bit of extended time on courseworks as well to hand them in for the written sections. We host a new to DMU event for autistic students. So it's a four day residency here. They showed me around the campus, they did city centre tours, they showed me where like the nearest shop was. So it was like introduction to our actual uni life and then I was like, no, I can do this. We get great feedback on that, um, that it really does sort of ease anxieties. It helps people get to know what it's like really before everyone else arrives. So you've got that little bit of a head start. And they were really good about like if there were certain rooms I needed or changing rooms around so that if I needed to get to rooms quickly I could because sometimes I get confused with like maps so they were really accommodating for that. Being at uni I know the challenges that, that you can face having a disability or being autistic or with mental health difficulties so I know how important the services that we provide are. But you're not going to be the only person with that like specific need that is going to have gone to them. It's more common than I think you realise before you come to uni. The big thing is never to say never. Have that conversation, talk to academic staff, talk to support staff that provide that support for disabled people at the university. Like a general statement is that no one really wants to ask for help, but actually just going to someone and being like, I'm really struggling with this and then getting the support in place makes a massive difference. Before I came here, I didn't even think that I'd be able to move out of home and come and live in halls and now it's like weird to like not be based in Leicester um, like I've grown so much as a person and I'm so much more confident. For me the, the support I received at university I do personally don't think that I would have achieved what I did and got the grades I did without that additional support. I still can still cry when I see somebody crossing a, a graduation what they've had to fight for. I still get emotional at open days when parents cry because their, their sons or daughters are going to get support at university. I'm still here, like I can do this and I don't want anyone to think that because they're dyslexic or because they have ADHD and they're not the best academically that they can't achieve well and they can't do well and like a degree is so accessible to everyone.